What a difference 24 hours can make. At this time yesterday, we were talking about warm temperatures, sunshine for the morning, and then cloud cover by the afternoon. Well, Kevin Yard was down at Nathan Phillips Square celebrating <laughs> Raptors Day. He had such a great time. He even got to hung out, hang out with the Raptor himself. The Raptor took over for Kevin and continued to do his job for the rest of the day. No, I'm kidding, he didn't. But he looks pretty good with our microphone, doesn't he? And uh, now the difference of 24 hours. Yeah, this is what Kevin's dealing with this morning. Some pretty good rain on most of the major highways. It hasn't been great. We've seen lots of thunderstorm activity. It will get better. Mila sent in this lovely picture of tulips. This was yesterday. <laughs> lots of sunshine again in the morning and by the afternoon. We did see quite a bit of cloud cover. This upcoming weekend, May 2-4, what are your plans? It's our coffee break question of the day. What are you looking forward to most this upcoming long weekend? Doing absolutely nothing? Going to the cottage? Are you gardening? Spending time with family? Nothing. I have to work. Or other. We'd like to hear from you. The results so far, other is nine. I don't know, that looks suspicious. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing, 22%. Spending time with family, 23%. Going to the cottage, I think that's a little low this year because our temperatures are expected to be a little bit below our seasonal average this weekend, and it's going to be a little bit unsettled, so I think that's why people are maybe thinking to stay home this weekend and going up to the cottage when it eventually warms up. We'd love to hear from you just to send us a tweet, send us a Facebook message. You can always reach me at Emily TWN. I'd love to hear about what you're doing for this weekend. Here's Tom now with an update on traffic. Well, Kevin, as a matter of fact, it is looking pretty busy eastbound. Westbound was where the problem was. That is cleared. We'll show you a shot of that coming up, but right now it is uh, a little busy still. Okay, well, we still have rain, especially to the east end of the city. The warm front is continuing to push its way north, so we are going to be seeing uh, wet weather kinder of the week. And then into the weekend, well, I'll let you know what to expect coming up. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Unsettled conditions, unfortunately. Thanks, Tom. We do have another area of low pressure that after we see a bit of a break throughout the day on Wednesday, it's going to be a bit of a soaker for Thursday, continuing right into Friday overnight. Then we do start to clear out. The weekend is not going to be a complete washout, but we do have that upper level low kind of hanging around, which means we do have the risk for a few isolated showers. Now, behind that cold front, temperatures are going to cool down fairly significantly. So Friday and sa Saturday, we're looking at only 14 degrees starting to warm up and improve by the end of the weekend. It is. Now, we're still seeing rain moving east of the city right now, but you can see the warm front really starting to break up, so the thunderstorm risk is now quite a bit lower. But it fires up again later on this afternoon and in through tonight. We could see some nocturnal storms. Some of them could be severe in nature. Biggest threat is going to be the heavy downpours, the very strong wind, and the potential is there for some small-sized hail. Over the next couple of days, things remain quite unsettled, and behind this area of low pressure by the weekend, temperatures are going to return to below seasonal values. Hours. Thanks, Kevin. What you doing? Electro Man. Tom. I'm, shoot, I'm doing lightning all over the place. There's like, got to be a superhero that's already about lightning. Oh, I guess so. There has to be. Oh, well, there is. Hey, who is it? I can't remember. Electro Man or something John, like that. John, do you know? Nah, there is a guy that does lightning. He doesn't know. Well, yeah. Kim McDonald dressed up as lightning one year for Halloween. Yes. So. Well, she's a, I'm thinking, she's a beautiful lightning bolt. I am thinking oh, that yeah. she's a superhero. Oh, I, I want to be. I'm just going to fly out of here. You're welcome, Kim. <laughs> All right, well, yesterday we saw a beautiful start to the day, and then, um, and then it started to taper off as the system moved off towards the east. Now, it's still in the east end. We'll talk about the remainder of the week. We'll talk about the weekend, the muchly anticipated May long weekend in just a moment. But first, Tom, what is going on in the QEW? Is it open Ooh, yet? Look at you. It, it looked like lightning there. Volt, looks like. It doesn't look too bad right now. <laughs> this warm front is going to be moving its way north and east and we'll see a bit of a break throughout the day today. We do have that risk for some isolated thunderstorms to fire up again later on this afternoon, this evening, more so through the overnight, so nocturnal thunderstorms again as the cold front moves through. If these cells do end up becoming severe, the biggest threat is going to be strong wind, heavy downpours and the threat for some small hail. We get a bit of a break for tomorrow, so that's why I say the long range isn't too bad. But then by Thursday, we've got a new low moving in, giving us a bit of a washout, continuing into Friday, and then temperatures get cooler just in time for the weekend.
Many feeling very lucky to have escaped the worst as severe storms pummel the Midwest. The long road to assessing and repairing the damage, that's coming up. It will get better. Conditions. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> All right, Tom. I guess you could call this revolting. It's sort of a joke, you know, electrical joke. But, you know, the heroes that were superheroes, there was Flash, who got hit by lightning. Oh, yeah. Flash, right? He totally didn't flash zoom around. Lightning. But Captain Marvel, or Shazam, was the guy who used lightning. You looked that up. Shazam! No, I just knew you it all. Wikipedia I that, didn't you? It all. It's he totally right in Wikipedia here. that. Locked in all Well, how come you didn't know it 20 minutes ago? Because I forgot. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Tom knows how to use his phone really well. No, no, no. Okay, well, we have been seeing thunderstorms. The lightning has really started to taper off, of course, and the potential is there for some hail. Everybody wants to know about the anticipated long weekend. I'll tell you all about it coming up. But first, Tom, what's going on on the roads? Another. All right, well, Wednesday, we are going to see a bit of a break. We should see showers tapering off tomorrow morning, and then they're going to pick up again tomorrow night as this new low moves in through the lower Great Lakes. It's going to be pretty much a washout with heavy showers throughout southern Ontario. By Friday, things start to get a little bit better, and the long weekend is not a complete washout. We are going to be seeing that chance of a few isolated showers here and there, but I think the big thing that people are going to be concerned about is not so much what, uh, what precipitation is happening. It's going to be our temperatures. They're below seasonal, both Friday and Saturday. Saturday, we're only looking at 14 degrees. By Sunday, we start to bump up, and then for holiday Monday, we look at a daytime high of 17, but with showers in the forecast. Well, the warm front, it's moved through, which is good news. The rain really starting to taper off. We're going to see a bit of a break through the later part of the morning and in through the afternoon. But we do have that cold front to contend with later on this afternoon, through the evening and overnight. That's when we can see thunderstorms again popping up. If they are severe, our biggest threat is going to be strong winds, heavy downpours, and the potential is there for some hail. Wednesday is going to be kind of one of the better days of the week. We are still going to be seeing mild temperatures, a daytime high of 19 degrees. And we'll see a bit of a break from the rain, but then Thursday a new low comes in, and then we cool down below seasonal for the beginning of the week. Do it. What's our name again? Ashley. Do what Ashley's doing. Rain boots now, sandals in the afternoon, back inside of the studio. <laughs> yeah, my threshold isn't as good as Ashley's. I don't think I'm going to be wearing sandals until it's at least, like, I'm talking 30 yeah, no, yeah. I, that's right. Your toes would be too cold. <laughs> and about your tan marks, too. <laughs> anyway. em Emily, Emily has sort of tan marks. I did. I was outside on, on the legs. weekend gardening and doing some stuff, and I wore these little capris, and so now it looks like I'm wearing brown socks, and uh -huh. that's why I'm wearing tights every well, day this week. You, there you go. <laughs> Okay, well, we're not going to be seeing that kind of sunshine today, unfortunately. We do have rain continuing this severe, but the biggest threat with those is going to be very strong winds. Potentials there for some hail and heavy downpours, very similar to what we saw early this morning. Long-range forecast, everybody is anticipating this weekend, and I'll have all the details coming up. But first, here's Tom. Tomorrow we'll see a bit of a break. We are going to be seeing showers tapering off in the morning, but then they will redevelop by late in the day. And then we've got this other low approaching southern Ontario. This one again has the potential to bring us some thunderstorms, heavy downpours and strong winds. It is going to move out just in time for the weekend, but our temperatures behind the cold front are going to cool down dramatically. So even though we're not going to be seeing heavy rain on the weekend, it's still not picture perfect for sitting on a patio for Friday and Saturday. Sunday and Monday they look better temperature wise, but we do have the risk for a few isolated showers through southern Ontario. Thanks, Kevin. I know Max is a bit of a baby when it comes to thunderstorms. Yeah, anytime a little flash of lightning or a little bit of thunder, he just pants away. Does he and... drool? No, he doesn't drool. He's not a drooler. He's, he just He's a polite dog. No drooling. He but just, if you're he panting, just, you might No, drool. he just pants oh. and pants and pants and pants, and you know, he mm. can't sit still. Oh. So that's what he did this morning. Then he came and pawed the door. Uh, to, because he wanted in from into the bathroom. <laughs> Tom's taking a shower and Max learned yeah, how to knock on the door. On the door. <laughs> Very polite dog. Well, Roxy was passed right out. Roxy couldn't care less about thunderstorms. We just saw a pretty heavy downpour through the Hamilton area with the cold front that's going to be pushing through. We'll talk more about your long-range forecast. We'll get you right into that May 2-4 weekend and what to expect in just a minute. But first, Tom, what's that red line all about? Well, that the showers are on the way. 
Well, we do have the risk for continuing showers tonight and into tomorrow morning, but we'll see a bit of a break through the afternoon. By tomorrow night, this low moves in. We're going to be seeing a fairly wet day for Thursday, heavy downpours, potential for thunderstorms, strong winds. The low is going to start to move out throughout the day on Friday, and we're going to be left with fairly decent conditions getting us closer to the weekend. But temperatures are going to remain quite cool. Behind that cold front, we'll see our temperatures drop. We're only looking at 14 degrees for Friday and Saturday. Sunday and into holiday Monday, temperatures warming up, but a chance of isolated showers through the GTA. Thanks, Tom. Well, the risk is still there for isolated thunderstorms later on this afternoon and in through tonight. If these cells are severe, the biggest threat is going to be strong winds, heavy downpours, and the potential for some hail. Now, tomorrow is going to see, well, we're going to see a bit of a break in between these lows. We'll see rain in the morning and then rain again late in the day as this next low starts to come in. It's going to be a bit of a washout for Thursday. We're expecting thunderstorms and the potentials are for some really heavy downpours. Getting in through the weekend, unsettled with an upper level low. So we will see some sunshine, but temperatures are going to be a little on the cool side. We're looking at 14 degrees for both Friday and Saturday. We start to warm up for Sunday and Monday, but showers expected. How fitting with that signs behind the weather. It's exactly what we saw this morning. Thunderstorms just along the warm front. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It's May the 13th. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been talking about the rain and thunderstorms continuing. And Kevin Yard joins us in beautiful Hamilton this morning. And Kevin, the rain has tapered off, <laughs> but some people still carrying umbrellas. Give them a wave. Thanks, Kevin. Well, this afternoon, you're going to keep your eye on the sky because we do have the risk for a few isolated thunderstorms as the cold front approaches and then again through the overnight into the long range forecast. We are going to be seeing a new low develop through Thursday and into Friday. Over the weekend, we start to clear, but temperatures are going to be much cooler for the weekend. Thanks, Kim. Around the world in 80 seconds. Always some amazing video on that. It's Tuesday. It's the 13th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. We have been dealing with some pretty stormy weather throughout the GTA these last couple of hours. The good news is that it has that warm kind of muggy air. That's where we have the risk to see some convective activity. Isolated, possibly even severe thunderstorms moving through the region. For the long range forecast, we are going to be seeing much cooler temperatures getting us into the May long weekend, but a clearing trend. So we'll see some sunshine for both Friday and Saturday. Temperatures start to warm up for Sunday and Monday, but we do have the risk for some isolated showers within the GTA. I know a lot of us are just itching to get into our gardens and get our hands dirty, and this is the weekend to do it, although temperatures are going to be a little on the cool side. I'll talk more about that coming up in just a moment. It is Tuesday. It's May the 13th. I'm Emily Vukovic. We joined Kevin Yard. He's in Hamilton this morning, and Kevin, the rain has been on again, off again, and I have to say, that was probably one of the biggest umbrellas I've ever seen that you were just hiding under. <laughs> As we get you into the afternoon, and Emily's going to tell us just how warm we are going to get. Good morning, Hamilton. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, temperatures are going to get into the mid to high teens, even into the low 20s, feeling a bit warmer when you factor in the humidity. Now, this morning, the rain was coming down hard and fast, and unfortunately, portions of the QEW had to be completely shut down in the Burlington area. This was westbound going towards Hamilton. Two tractor trailers were involved. I believe it was six vehicles. Uh, there was a fuel leak. It was just an absolute mess. So if it does rain that hard later on tonight and into tomorrow, give yourself lots of extra travel time and go slow. The risk for isolated thunderstorms firing up again tonight and through the overnight. Some nocturnal storms may wake you up yet again like they did early this morning. If these cells are severe, we are going to be seeing the risk of very heavy downpours again, strong winds, and the potential is there for some small-sized hail. We do have a bit of a break in the forecast for tomorrow, so we may actually uh, see some dry conditions for the middle part of the day. But then for Thursday, a new low moves back in, and we're going to see below seasonal temperatures over the long weekend. Go to the Predicting extreme weather events like the Toronto or Calgary floods is a tricky task, but we found an organization called FloodNet that says challenge accepted. Fun if June, if FloodNet will be fully operational in Canada. Thanks so much for that, Rachel. 
It is Tuesday. It is the 13th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been seeing rain and thunderstorms moving through the region. Kevin Yar has been joining us in Hamilton this morning talking to people about the rain. And Kevin, the big warm up that's on the way for this afternoon, I don't think anyone is going to be complaining, but I know a lot of people are still keeping their umbrellas close at hand. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. The risk for thunderstorms, Andrew's not going to be thrilled because we do have that risk again this afternoon and into tonight. Tomorrow morning, we do have that risk easing, but it's still going to be potentially a stormy night. Looking at the weekend, we have got a bit of a break for tomorrow, so we'll see a drying trend for the day, and that's it. And then the new low moves in for Thursday. Make sure you stay with us. I do a Long Ranger segment about the long weekend coming. Most of you know our meteorologist, Doug Gillum. He is famous for his long range forecasts. And today we are going to do one that's a little bit more GTA focused. Now, Doug, there is a question that I want to know that everybody wants to know. Why has spring been so, I was trying to think of a good adjective, but I'm just going to say cool. Why has spring been so cool? Well, we've really never broken out of the pattern that we saw all winter. And that pattern featured a pattern very similar to what we're going to see, unfortunately, this weekend. These black lines represent the flow of air in the upper atmosphere, essentially the jet stream. You can see that the flow is coming right out of the Canadian Arctic. So this northwesterly flow brings chilly weather to the GTA. So that's what we've seen much of the time. And yet, when we do have some warm-ups, great Lake Ontario is running five degrees Celsius colder than it should be this time of year. Great. So when we do get the warmer <laughs> air, we get the lake breeze, the easterly flow off the lake, and so that keeps our temperatures colder than we should be with a lake breeze. So when Tom Reynolds goes to his cottage for the May long weekend, he's probably not going to be swimming. Is that what you're saying? Uh, he shouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, just so you know, purples and blues, that means cold. We want to see the warmer colors. That's what gives us the warmth. Now, we've talked about spring, we've talked about the pattern, we want to get into this weekend. Everybody is anticipating the May long weekend. What's going to happen? I mean, we have had an unsettled pattern all week. Is this going to continue into the weekend? Well, I wish I could tell you that we were going to repeat Mother's Day weekend. Unfortunately, we're not. So Temperatures great. are going to be cooler, but we will still see considerable sunshine with a few showers possible. Before we get there, though, a rather unsettled pattern. This sets the stage Wednesday morning. Cold front having crossed through the GTA, then stalls basically right over our area. So another round of low pressure rides along that front, brings a very wet period of weather, Wednesday night into Thursday, several rounds of rain and thunderstorms that will finally start to push to our east Friday morning. Okay. And so we should see improving weather during Friday, but temperatures well below seasonal. As we get into the weekend, most of the time it will not be raining. We'll see a mixture of sun and clouds. That's great news. It is great news, but yeah. we can't unfortunately rule out a few hit and miss showers at times during the afternoon and evenings. But again, let's highlight most of the time it will not be raining. Okay, so you can still go camping but make sure you bring your rain gear, right? Yeah. That's, that's the general consensus. Okay, so temperatures, let's talk about those. That is below seasonal for both Friday and Saturday. That's not oh, good news sure for people. Sure, seasonal is around 20. And again, these temperatures much cooler than we saw last weekend. But let's note the warming trend. Victoria Day, the warmest day of the weekend. Temperatures back up to near 17. That'll feel pretty good. Yeah, that's seasonal. That's kind of where we should be. Now everybody's wondering, okay, well, what's summer going to bring now that we've seen this weekend and we've seen a cooler than average spring? Tell me what's to come. Well, this is the week after Victoria Day, and okay. much of the country are actually going to see temperatures at to above seasonal, but again, we're going to have to deal with potentially pesky lake breezes. All right, well, I like the ending with a good news, don't you? Sure do. Visit our new... How fitting with that signs behind the weather. It's exactly what... Speaking of stormy days, that's exactly what we had earlier this morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is May the 13th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Storms to come tonight and into tomorrow, we will get a bit of a break. I'll talk all about that coming up in a moment, but first, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us at Jackson Square, beautiful Hamilton, Ontario. Kevin, what's the situation there? In terms of your temperatures, of course, Emily, you'll tell us just how warm we're going to get. Thanks, Kevin. That's right. Daytime highs getting up into the mid to high teens throughout the GTA. We are going to see a bit of a break in this wet weather for tomorrow. We'll see showers continuing early day and then starting again late day with this new low moving in through the lower Great Lakes. Our temperatures are going to drop behind the cold front, giving us an unseasonably cool long weekend. 
I know a lot of us are just itching to get into our gardens and get our hands dirty, and this is the weekend to do it, although temperatures are going to be a little on the cool side. I'll talk more about that coming up in just a moment. It is Tuesday. It's May the 13th. I'm Emily Vukovic. We join Kevin Yard. He's in Hamilton this morning, and Kevin, the rain has been on again, off again, and I have to say, that was probably one of the biggest umbrellas I've ever seen that you were just hiding under. 